our dear freshmen, shifters, transferees, and returning students, hello and welcome to Beacle University. Before you proceed and watch the rest of the student orientation video, please take note of these simple viewing guidelines. First, watch the student orientation video in its entirety. This will ensure that you can take note of all the essential information that will be presented to you in the video, which includes the names of officials, places of interest, and student-related services offered within the university. Next, avoid skipping or fast-forwarding any part of the student orientation video. This way, in connection with the first guideline, you will not miss any relevant details pertaining to the essential information we expect you to learn from the orientation video. And finally, answer the student survey immediately after watching the student orientation video. This is a mandatory step for you to finally become an official student of Beagle University. The student survey is very important as your answers will allow us to assess your current psychosocial status, help the faculty members prepare their flexible instructional delivery strategies this semester, and to customize our guidance and counseling services according to your individual needs. Moreover, answering this student survey is an enrollment requirement, so failure to accomplish it will not allow you to obtain your COR or Certificate of Registration and become a fully enrolled student in the university. We hope that you follow these simple viewing guidelines so you can make the most out of the student video orientation you are now about to watch. Once again, welcome and thank you for choosing Beagle University. Scholarship Leadership Character and service a world-class university in the heart of the Bico region producing leaders and change agents welcome to the Bico university student orientation 2020 Sama, sama, 
buong buo Kung sa tingin mo kinawawala ng pag-asa Di ka nag-iisa sa hamon ng problema Kahit ang magkakaparayo may pagkakaiba Ngunit ang pinagkaiba sa tinang pagkakaisa Sulong lang, sabay-sabay Sa buntok na matarik Parang sugat na likha na maapa ka ng tinig Diretso lang, kahit gano'ng kalupit Hindi iikot ang segundo sa relo na pabalik Tumingin ka sa liwanag na sa'yo'y papalapit Makinig ka sa katotohanan na aming sinasabit Badada pa ka minsan, kakayanan mo pa rin Dahil ang pusong iwan nyo sa data mo sa dili Fellow scholar ng bayan, let us listen to the message of our surrogate father, the Sup President Four of the Bicol University, Dr. Arnulfo M. Mascarinas. Welcome to Bicol University, my dear freshmen. You have now entered a new and exciting phase of your life. You are leaving behind all the familiar things of your childhood and teenage years. You are entering a world where your character, discipline, and intellect will be further developed and challenged. With the threat of COVID-19, and the continuing spread of this pandemic, the beginning of your college years is marked by challenges that has changed the way we conduct our educational process. We are at the moment crafting a teaching and learning environment that would be suitable and adapted to the new normal. We have long envisioned the reality of distance education and flexible learning even before COVID-19 caught us unaware. But it has forced us to finally come to terms with the urgency of these deliberate modes of learning. This requires optimal patience and understanding on everyone's part, as all of us are adjusting to this new reality. But we assure you, my dear freshmen, our newest members of the Bicol University family, we are ready with all our health protocols and preventive measures to ensure the safety of every client and personnel who entrust their lives and future to Bicol University. Here at Bicol University, we make sure that you imbibe the core values of character, leadership, scholarship, and service as you live your life within the confines 
of this great academic institution. You have been doubly blessed because you have chosen Bicol University, the premier university in the Bicol region that offers quality tertiary education that by virtue of Republic Act 10931 allows each one of you access to free tertiary education. Guided by our vision of a world-class university, producing leaders and change agents for social transformation and development, we endeavor to mold each one of you into productive and responsible scholars who would one day become leaders with a passion for change and service in your respective fields. With the great privilege and blessings of a Bicol University education, you too must be aware at this early stage in your student's life of the great responsibility that comes with this privilege. To whom much is given, much is expected. Along with your mentors and professors, we hope you will rise up to the challenge of using the quality education that Beacon University can provide to become quality students who later on will exemplify the core values of Beacon University. Enjoy the moment and savor the advantage of being a member of Beacon University family. Make the most of your stay here and create wonderful moments and memories in all the nooks and corners of this great university. As your president and surrogate father, I welcome you all as official members of the Bicol University family. Let us heal as one nation and one Bicol University family. Stay safe, my dear freshmen. In spite of what is happening in the world today, you will always have a bright future and home in Bicol University.
Thank you pa, President Mascarinias. Along with this new chapter of our lives are the new normal that goes beyond the face mask and social distancing that we also have to face and embrace. Let us now listen to our Director of the Student Welfare Services Division, Dr. Ana Linda G. Marceliana, RGC, as she talks about the university life in the new normal. To warmly welcome and congratulate everyone for passing the beset and getting a place in Bicol University. Your arrival here marks a new chapter of your life. You will be meeting new challenges, new people, new learnings and experiences. This new chapter may be a bit different from your high school life wherein you were fully dependent from your parents, guardians, siblings, teachers and other people close to you. This time, you'll have the opportunity to make your own direction. But the great thing is, you have the chance to be more responsible, learn new things, acquire new knowledge, develop new skills, and be able to enhance your personal attributes in profound ways that will provide you a well-rounded personality, even life after university. What are the things you will be taking charge in college with this new normal situation. Number one, manage your time well. Life in college can be more complicated. Being a college student already comes with its own challenges. However, you are now facing additional challenges with most, if not all of your classes being put online, which means shifting of learning space from public space to personal space. With the initial transition from on-campus classroom to virtual classroom, your typical morning will change. You now find yourself at home getting ready to sit behind the screen all day. It is certainly a change from having to wake up, get ready and walk to class, develop a routine. This is key. When you were on campus and attending classes, your routine revolved around going to classes in person. Now that you're studying from home, it's vital to establish new routine and stick to it. Continue to structure your life around your coursework. Establish a new. Understand this is temporary and that you can adapt. Number 2. Handling your social life appropriately Bicol University is a very big institution, which means a very big and new social scene for you. You are bound to test your social and emotional flexibility in meeting new people who came from different places. They are with different backgrounds, views, interests, and perspective. They might also be different from you. But you have to embrace the difference and understand that everybody is unique. With the transition to online learning, you will also be experiencing a shift in your social interaction from physical to virtual. This is not a social cut-off from the learning community, but you need to shift your communication channels. Surround yourself with a good support group. You can create or join a study group via chat room. Number 3. Practice Mindfulness It is being totally present in the moment, non-judgmentally, open and accepting. Be reminded that worries, fears, and anxieties are all in the minds. As quoted by Glenn Turner, worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you nowhere. So if you want to enjoy your university life and be successful someday, 
live with mindfulness. Maintain your inner peace and see the beauty of life every day. You can do this also by setting up a conducive place for studying in your home or when attending online classes. This will help you be more concentrated and motivated in welcoming new knowledge. Likewise, be more active in interacting with your classmates and professors virtually. Lastly, ask help and support. As we navigate through this complicated situation, the university is committed to doing what is necessary to ensure that you receive the support that you are counting and the opportunities to pursue and achieve your academic objectives. None of this will be overly easy, but it just has to be taken one step at a time. Know that there are support services available for you. We have guidance offices in various colleges ready to assist you. There are registered guidance counselors and faculty in charge assigned. Finally, stay safe, stay connected, and stay on track. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Marciliana. Fellow Scholar ng Bayan, we're getting closer to knowing our beloved university. Joining us is our University Registrar, Ms. Sophia A. Romero, to tell us more about B. Academic Policies, Procedures, and Programs. Good day everyone, this is the Bicol University Registrar's Office at your service. The B Registrar's Office takes charge of the registration, graduation, and issuance of official scholastic documents of students. It puts premium on security, confidentiality, authenticity, and accuracy of academic records of students. Registration, being the inherent function of the registrar, is carried out through the functional supervision of the college registrars. With the new normal, the BU Registrar's Office provides an online transaction system and all its services. Personal appearance is required when necessary, but health safety protocols are properly observed. Along this vision and mission, the BU Registrar's Office implements the academic policies, procedures, and programs of the university. What is in store of the academic policies, procedures, and programs of the university? The academic year. Bicol University is guided by its university calendar where all academic units of the university in all levels operate under the semestral system. Classes are scheduled on Monday through Friday run. Occasionally, three hours are scheduled on Saturdays and or Sundays. Start of classes, end of classes, semestral breaks are hereby stated. The prescribed uniform. Students must wear the required uniform for their academic level. The credit unit. One unit of credit shall be at least 18 full hours of instruction per semester in the form of lecture, discussion, seminar, tutorial, or equivalent field, or any combination of these forms. The academic load. The regular academic load for undergraduate students shall be that which is prescribed in the curriculum in a semester for a certain program or course. A graduating student with satisfactory academic record may be permitted 
to carry an additional load of one or two subjects in his or her last semester, provided that the total load does not exceed the maximum of 33 units per semester, provided further that this will not contradict with any existing policy of the university. Provided finally that the student concerned is a candidate for graduation at the end of the semester that the load is allowed. An additional of one or two non-major subjects may also be allowed to students who are on student teaching or practicum. During the summer term, the regular load shall be nine units or that which is prescribed in the curriculum. But in justifiable cases, the dean or director may allow a higher load of not exceeding 12 units. The changing of subjects or transferring to other classes. Change of subjects or transfer to other classes shall be made for valid reasons, which shall be stated in writing and approved by the college dean. Changing of subjects shall be within a week after the close of registration and shall only be allowed upon payment of the corresponding fee. After this period, no changing of subjects or transferring to other classes shall be allowed. The subject to be taken or changed shall be considered. The adding of subjects. A subject or subjects added to one's academic load unofficially or without prior approval by the dean shall not be given credit. Adding of subjects for valid reason shall be stated in writing for approval by the dean of the college wherein one is enrolled. This shall be made within one week after the close of registration and shall only be allowed upon payment of the corresponding fee. The total load allowed, however, shall not exceed the maximum under the rule on academic load or that which is prescribed for his or her curriculum year during the term or semester. The dropping of subjects. A student may, with the consent of the instructor in the college dean, drop the subject by filling out the prescribed form within three-fourths of the total maximum class hours prescribed thereof. After the period has lapsed, a student may be allowed to drop a course by reason of illness duly certified by a physician or other valid reasons. A student who unofficially drops his or her subjects after obtaining his or her midterm grades shall be given a grade of 5 or failure in all subjects at the end of the term. The subject instructor shall give the grade. The withdrawal of registration. A student may be entitled to withdraw his or her credentials submitted as requirements for enrollment. After this period, the request shall be dropping of subjects and the rules for dropping shall apply. The prerequisites. The rules on sequence of subjects in the curriculum in the course being taken must be followed. A subject or course approved by the academic council as prerequisite to others should be taken before a higher course. Enrolling and attendance in a subject without passing its prerequisite shall earn students no academic credit unless such enrollment has been approved by the college dean. Attendance and absences. Any student who, for an avoidable cause, absence himself from classes must obtain an excuse letter from either the advisor or the guidance coordinator to be presented to the instructor's concern, not later than the second session following his return. When the number of hours lost by the absence of a student reaches 20% of the hours scheduled work in one subject, he shall be dropped. The Maximum Residence Rule Residence refers to the number of years or terms required of a student to finish a course. An undergraduate student must finish the requirements of a course in any college within a period of actual residence equivalent to a maximum of the prescribed length of the program plus one year pursuant to the other provisions of the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act of 2017. The Examinations the regular examination. Two regular written examinations, the midterm and the final examinations, are prescribed every semester or term. Other written or practical examinations are also given at the discretion of the subject instructor. The grading system. The university shall have a uniform grading system using number grades from 1.0 to 5.0, where 1.0 is the highest. 
A student who incurred a failing mark in his or her coursework may be allowed to retake the subject not more than two times. The grade of incomplete. An incomplete grade indicates incomplete coursework and may be awarded to a graduate or a student only when a small portion of the student's work is incomplete and only when the student is otherwise earning a passing mark. Until removed, the INC is not included in the computation of the student's general weighted average. Rules on Scholastic Deficiency Academic probation. A student who fails in one subject at any time shall in the succeeding term carry a load which is one subject or its equivalent units less than the load allowed for his course during the current semester. Permanent disqualification. Any student shall be permanently barred from re-enrollment in any college, school, unit of the university on the following grounds. Poor scholarship. The student is dropped from the roles of any college of the university due to poor scholarship as governed by the rules on academic dismissal. Complete failure. The student failed in all his subjects for the term or semester. Dismissal due to the violation of the rules and regulations of the university. What are the graduation requirements? A student shall be recommended for graduation only after he has satisfied all academic and other requirements prescribed for graduation. A candidate for graduation must have complied all the subjects required in the curriculum he is following from the time he first enrolled in the university to the present. Candidates for graduation must have their deficiencies removed and or their deficiencies cleared not later than five weeks before the end of their last semester or term in the program with the exception of the subjects in which they are currently enrolled. No student shall be allowed to graduate from the university unless he is in residence during the last two terms or semesters for of his course. A student must file a formal application with the office of the dean of his or her college as candidate for graduation within three weeks after enrollment on his last semester or term in the college. How will a student avail of the graduation with honors? The university awards the following title of graduation with honor to a candidate for graduation who has satisfied the following requirements. The transcript of record, diploma, and certifications. Since records are strictly confidential, it can only be released at the request of the student or of the appropriate institution and or officials. Official transcript of records from other institutions which have been submitted to the university as transfer credentials becomes part of the student's permanent record. Application for transcript of records, diploma, certifications must be accompanied by the student's clearance and official receipt of payment. Reminder or requirement before enrollment on second semester. Follow up from your respective college registrar the request letter for Form 137 or official transcript of records for the transferees. And for shifters, second coursers, the same process. If Form 137 or transcript of records or other official enrollment records are not yet on file, you may follow up from your previous school the soonest. Non-compliance may prevent you from enrollment on the next semester. My dear students, may I present to you the registrars of Bicol University. Thank you everyone. Welcome to Bicol University. Have a nice day. Thank you, Miss Romero. We will definitely visit the University Registrar. Let us now all together know from the Director of the University Student Development Services Division, Office of Student Affairs and Services, Director Dave's L. Tonga, the rules and regulations on student conduct and discipline, and follow them 
not only for compliance, but for building a good character. Good day, my dear scholar Nambayan. Welcome to Bicol University. Today, we are going to learn about the rules and regulations on conduct and discipline. For more details on this topic, please refer to the Bicol University Student Handbook, Revised Version 2019. Copies of which are available at the University Student Welfare Services Division of the Office of the Student Affairs and Services. Bicol University, a premier university in Bicol, is committed to the fullest development of students along leadership, scholarship, character, and service. The rules and regulations set forth in the student handbook are guides to ensure the good order necessary in the attainment of these values. Therefore, every student is expected to abide by the rules and regulations of the university, the existing laws of the land, and the standard of a good society. The following students' rules govern the conduct and discipline of students. Any student who commits misbehavior in the university premises or outside the university when acting in his capacity as representative of the university shall be subject to disciplinary action in accordance with the schedule of sanctions set by the university. Bicol University is a smoke-free university. Smoking is prohibited in the university premises. Students are required to attend academic university activities that are conducted within the university. Students of this university are free to participate in co-curricular activities subject to the following conditions. Their participation shall excuse them only for the time missed in class and shall not excuse them from fulfilling other requirements by the university and their participation shall be their own personal responsibility. All posters, written announcements, or other similar materials emanating from accredited student organizations shall bear the stamp of approval of the coordinator for student activities, the dean of the college, or the Office of the Vice President for Planning and Development. No student may participate in an outside activity, contest, play, band, orchestra, choir, conference, congress, association, club, and similar groups as a representative of the Bicol University without being so authorized in writing by the Dean of the College. A student or organization may use the name of the university for any activity such as, but not limited to, sponsorship only upon prior approval in writing by the college dean, the office dean, or other concerned university officials. Students should wear the prescribed uniform of the college while inside the campus. On ununiformed days, students are not allowed to wear inappropriate attire. Inappropriate attire are those that are contrary to the culturally acceptable attire which include but not limited to the following. Blouses with bare back, bare midriffs, low or plunging neckline, spaghetti straps, haltered hanging blouse, see-through garments, sleeveless shirts for men, very short skirts or dresses, very low-rise jeans, shorts, beach and Japanese sandals, and slippers. The PE uniform is to be worn only during PE classes or games on the campus, not during academic classes. Validated ID cards must be worn at all times within the school premises. Lost ID card must be reported immediately to the concerned authorities. Students should help keep the building and campus clean at all times. Trust cans and similar receptacles should be used. Littering and writing on the walls, doors, chairs, or any property of the university is prohibited. Students should handle funds, mail matter, or any important papers entrusted to them either by the university or any of the student organizations with utmost care and responsibility. 
all funds accruing to the student organization must be deposited in a reputable bank. At the end of every semester, the bank book reflecting the financial asset of the organization must be deposited at the office of the coordinator for student activities for safekeeping. The following are the acts subject to disciplinary actions. Bullying. This refers to any act which causes upon the student's emotional, physical, or psychological stress, making him feel lonely and unsafe or to think that there is something wrong with him, or to lose the student's confidence and to become disinterested in attending classes. Also, please take note of the following schedule of sanctions. Carrying within the university premises firearms or dangerous or deadly weapons. Carrying any weapons which can kill, including but not limited to firearms, even if license, knife, blunt instruments, or clubs. Creating disorder to mold breach of the peace or serious disturbance within the university. Any act designed to cause any serious disturbance within the university premises, office, classroom, hall, or shall interrupt or disturb performances, functions, or gatherings, or a peaceful meeting within the university premises. Disobedience to lawful orders of the university officials. This is characterized by any willful failure to comply with any lawful order or instruction given by the university authorities, such as but not limited to official of the university, faculty member, and security personnel who are acting in the regular performance of their official duty. Serious dishonesty involves the presence of any of the following circumstances. The dishonest act caused serious damage and grave prejudice to the university. In order to commit the dishonest act, the respondent gravely abused his authority. Where the respondent is an accountable officer in any university or college-based organization, the dishonest act directly involves property, accountable forms, or money for which he is directly accountable, and the respondents show an intent to commit material gain, graft, and corruption. Drinking alcoholic beverages or manifesting drunken behavior within the university premises, possession of intoxicating liquors or any alcoholic beverages shall be prima facie evidence of the commission of this offense. Disgraceful and immoral conduct, any scandalous behavior or act contrary to established moral principles committed inside or outside the university premises which caused disrepute to pickle university, petting, necking, or any sexual conduct done within the university premises inside or outside of classrooms. Falsification of official documents. Any unfruitful entries in official documents committed through alteration, deletion, superimposition, intercalation, or any misrepresentation. Official documents shall include birth certificates, official transcript of records, library card, school ID, student's clearance, diploma, and other documents issued by or submitted to Bicol University. The prohibitions that also include submissions of false or fraudulent documents in connection with official transactions with the university. Gambling Any unauthorized betting of money or something of material value within the university premises. Hazing of any variety inside or outside the premises of the university by any fraternity, sorority, 
or individual or group representing an accredited BU organization. An initiation right or practice is a prerequisite for admission into membership in a fraternity, sorority, or organization by placing the recruit, neophyte, or applicant in some embarrassing or humiliating situation such as forcing him to do menial, silly, foolish, and other similar tasks or otherwise subjecting him to physical, psychological, suffering, or injury. Malversation or unlawful disbursement of funds and property belonging to the university community or a guest of the university. Any student who, by reason of the duties of his office, is accountable for student funds or property shall appropriate the same or take or misappropriate or shall consent through abandonment or negligence shall permit any person to take such student funds or property wholly or partially or shall otherwise be guilty of misappropriation or embezzlement of such funds or property. Photo or video voyeurism an act of taking photo or video coverage of a person or group of persons performing sexual acts or any similar activity or of capturing an image of a private area of a person or persons without the latter's consent. Plagiarism, the act of copying others' works or words and passing it off as one's own original creation. Possession of dangerous drugs or chemicals. Any student who found to possess, use, sell, dispose, or distribute prohibited or controlled drugs or chemicals and other banned substances as enumerated in RA 9165. An authorized solicitation of contribution or donation using the name of the university. Any request for support to any individual or organization, monetary or otherwise, in the name of Bicol University without prior written permit from the college or OSAS dean and concerned university officials. Sexual harassment, an act involving any unwelcome sexual advance, demand or request for sexual favor or other verbal or physical behavior of sexual nature committed by any person who, having authority, influence or moral ascendancy over another in training or education related environment of the person complained of without regards to whether such advance demands or request is accepted by the other. This talking, an intentional act committed by a student who knowingly and without lawful justification follows a fellow student or places the latter under surveillance directly or indirectly or a combination thereof. All cases involving discipline of students and a violation of rules and regulations of the college committed within its premises shall be subject to the jurisdiction of the college disciplinary committee. Investigation of cases falling under the jurisdictions of the college shall be conducted by a committee of five members. The college disciplinary committee shall be composed of the coordinator of college student activities as chairperson, the president of the faculty club of the college as co-chairperson, the president of the college student council or his duly authorized representative as member, the department chair as member, the student representative designated by the university student council as member, and the guidance counselor as non-voting member. All cases involving discipline of students could be elevated on appeal to the university student disciplinary tribunal, which shall be composed of the following. 
the University Legal Officer as Chairperson, the Dean of the OSAS as Co-Chairperson, the Concerned Department Chair as Member, the CSC President from the college where the subject or a student is enrolled as Member, the Chairperson of the University Student Council as Member, and the University Guidance Counselor as a non-voting member. The disciplinary procedure shall commence upon filing of written report to the Dean of the College by the instructor or any school authority who apprehends a student committing any of the acts enumerated in the previous slide. It may also be commenced by the offended party upon filing a written complaint. The Dean of the College then refers the matter to the College Disciplinary Committee, which shall convene not later than three days after filing of the case. A student under administrative investigation shall have the following rights. He must be informed in writing of the nature and cause of the accusation against him, and he shall have the right to answer the charges against him with the assistance of the counsel if desired that he shall be informed of the evidence against him, that he shall have the right to adduce evidence in his behalf, and the evidence must have been duly considered by the investigating committee or officials designated by the school authorities to hear and decide the case. The decision of the college disciplinary committee shall become final and executory unless within five days from the notice of the decision, the aggrieved party not satisfied with the decision appeals to the university student tribunal. Decision imposing the disciplinary action upon the student shall be reported to his parents, guardians, not later than five days after the case has been promulgated. The University Student Tribunal shall meet not later than 10 working days from the receipt of the notice of the appeal. The decision of the University Student Tribunal shall become final and executory unless within 10 working days from the notice of the decision, the aggrieved party, not satisfied with the decision, appeals to the Board of Regents to the President. The Board of Regents shall review the decision of the University Student Disciplinary tribunal based on the records or minutes of the proceedings. Students have the responsibility and the right to call the attention of a professor on any grade which the students believe to be an error. Students may appeal in this order to the department chair, then to the dean if the problem is not resolved at the college level the student may appeal to the University Grievance Council lodged at the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thank you very much and we'll see you around. Thank you, Director Daves L. Tonga. Let us remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one. Fellow freshmen, we have now arrived at the most awaited part, the last part. I am excited because soon we will finally be officially called BUENIOS. But before that, let us first get to know the Bicol University Health Services Student and Personal Support Services. Welcome to Bicol University Health Services Students and Personnel Support Services. The panoramic external view of the main clinic. A view inside the clinic. The objectives of Bicol University Health Services Provide and maintain adequate facilities, supply and easy access to primary health care services Ensure that primary health care services are administered by licensed medical, dental doctors and allied professionals with adequate and updated training in their field of expertise 
Keep and maintain updated health record and certificates as required by DOH and other health agencies in compliance with the relevant and existing health-related laws, rules, and regulations. Promote and provide mechanism to healthy lifestyles such as but not limited to health lectures, posting of IEC material with health concern on smoking, substance abuse, and diseases not only in school but also outside the school premises. Provide coordinated referral scheme with multidisciplinary specialists to ensure that special needs of students are met. Here are the services offered by BU Health Services. Medical or dental consultation and treatment. Medical or dental examination and issuance of medical certificate for fitness. Annual dental examination. Physical examination and issuance of medical certificate of fitness to students. Physical examination and issuance of medical certificate of illness or certificate of endorsement. Physical examination and issuance of medical certificate to employees. In the new normal, safety and health protocol are to be followed. Consultations are by schedule or appointment. Social distancing must be observed during consultations. No medical or dental consultations are allowed unless required tools for safety and health are available. All students and employees are encouraged to wear masks and observe social distancing within the campus. Other services of Bicol University Health Services are as follows. Health education and promotion. Visitation to external campuses on schedule. Squaa Medical Support Service. Service and medical cooperation with local health unit and DOH. Here are the clinics of Bicol University. University Health Services. The head of BUHS. The nurse assigned at Maine and BU Gubat Campus. The nurse assigned at BU Maine and East Campus. The nurse of BU Maine Clinic. at Taraga Campus. The nurse at Kulangi Campus. The nurse assigned at BU College of Agriculture and Forestry. The nurse of BU Tobacco Campus. The dentist at Main Clinic The dental aide assigned at main clinic. Another dental aide of main clinic. The Cheon nurse of the main clinic. The Cheon nurse at East Campus. The Cheon nurse of the campus. If you have any problems like fever, bruises, or any other symptom, please feel free to, book to visit our clinic or contact us with this number. Stay safe, healthy, and COVID-19 free. Thank you. Welcome once again to Bicol University. Congratulations! We've made it! We're done!
It's time to answer the survey. Let's do this! Bye! See you around! Kanta, mga talento natin ay 